Hello and welcome to today's video where I am going to restore orc and grots. I found them on a second hand shelf of my hobby store. As a old Dawn of War player, I really enjoyed making them look colorful and vibrant like in the game. They were not in bad condition, but some of them, like this bad boy, had a hole in the base, so I needed to cover it up by searching through my beatbox and adding some materials that will later look like metal pieces. PVA glue made the job to glue on the plastic bits. Happy little grot, now have a fantastic base. Looking at what the previous owner did on the bases, uh, we can see there are tufted rocks and even some steel wires on the base. Let's put some steel color on the plastic bits and we are good to go. To start off with the painting restoration process, we want to clean the minis of all the dust and things. We do not want a fully soaked in water brush, we only want a humid fill to the touch brush so we can gather all the dust and we can clean the miniature with it. The miniature were not badly painted, they were not colors where we do not want them to be, so I just needed to add some highlights and some shadows to a certain area. We are using lime green for the skin that I am fairly well diluting with water. Do not forget to shake your painting bottle. I am tapping on the brush and the paint on some high area of the skin, like for example on the top of a muscle area. We do not want it to be too bright because we do not have the control of the paint underneath. Let's get some steel paint and paint the steel parts. Because when I had the miniatures in my hand, I could have seen some black marks around. Like the previous owner just used a ton of washes or I don't know what and uh, it leaves some very ugly black marks I needed to fix with the steel color on the steel parts. Now we want a dark shade, it do not necessarily need to be a Grax Earth shade but a pretty dark shade just so the black parts uh, will be covered in and it will give that shine look come back again.
using bright red I will now try and put some very very faint dots small dots on the eyes just to give that feral look for the Gretchen's now I absolutely don't want to rush it because I will not find the old colors the previous owner used and it would be very sad for me to put some reds on green parts so just being really careful and trying not to put paint where I do not want it to be. One advice I found on YouTube was to hold your brush with your thumb and your first finger, your index I believe, and then you are going to use your fourth finger to press against the miniature just so it gives you stability and it really reduces to zero the shaking of your hands or the mini or the brush and this way you can be very accurate with a small brush. The miniature clothes were grey and uh, I preferred to make it then red just so I had my own customization of the miniature and uh, because everyone knows red goes faster. On most of the grey clothes I will be adding the dark red just to add the base layer for the bright red later. Here I am using the same technique as for the highlights of the skin. Remember, always dilute your paint and you also don't want to soak your brush with the paint. I put back some red on the red parts of the gun and I am going later to weather it down and add some metal scratch. Tan or ivory color is going to be used for highlighting the tooth of all our grots. The restoration is now finished by just detailing the base, like cutting out the metal that is going out of the circle base, painting the edges of the base in black, gluing some tuft using PVA glue. Now, Big Papa Orc need the same treatment. Green for the skin for the boys. Bright pink to not lose your squig on the battlefield. Shiny metal to strike harder on your enemy. Blue ink for more bzz bzz. Red eye to see your enemy faster than he sees you. Ivory tooth for money and red bum to go faster. And this happy little troop is now finished. Next time you'll see a second hand miniature troop on the shelf of your hobby store, do not hesitate to buy it. Because as you can see it is pretty simple and effective to just put on some colors to make them beautiful again.